What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourselves enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with this Obstagoon and Cinderin's team with Whimsicott on it too. I actually haven't used any of those three Pokemon in ranked battles. I actually haven't used Obstagoon in this game yet. I just called him for my Pokedex. Haven't used him. I used Whimsicott and Cinderin. They're both very cool Pokemon. But I never used any of those three in ranked battles. So I'm actually hyped for this. But rocking out in the front spot, you guys can see it, is that Whimsicott rocking a Focus Ash with Moonblast, Tail Tailwind, Sunny Day, and Trick Room. We can actually use that Tailwind to set up some speed boost in the back end and we can run a trick room if they're running a very fast team so either or so whimsicott is a great starter pokemon in these double battles especially because it's rocking that focus ash too then next spot we got obscoon rocking a chapel berry with knockoff double edge close combat and obstruct this thing is a beast it's physical attack gotta be through the roof with all these moves gonna do some work on the offensive field then we got a light orb cinderman who is going to do some work just like that obscoon gonna be our heavy hitters here with pirate ball high jump kick sucker punch get that first move priority and protect he has that high jump kick and high jump kick is so good because it's like an all-out move like if you hit it it's gonna do some work but if you miss it you're gonna do a lot of damage to yourself so it's like high risk high reward then we have this indeedy over here but this isn't like a normal indeedy usually indeedies are usually rocking like follow me and everything trying to soak up some hits to get like a trick room off but nah this thing is rocking choice specs on it with psychic hyper voice tri attack and mystical fire so i can see us throwing off some people and absolutely murking on some fools for real for real then we got dragapult right here Rocking choice ban and track Dragapult is just always such a good choice. Always such a good choice in all my battles in this game. Like, he is, like, the meta. He is the meta on, like, every team. He's just so good. Rocking Dragon Darts. Phantom Force to actually take out some of those uh, Dynamax turns. Very, very good move. U-turn and Steel Wing. With that choice ban, we can actually just raise his attack stats and just do some work on one move. And then we can always Dynamax and forfeit it and go back into different moves. Then, in the final spot, we have Corbinite rocking a Metal Coat with Brave Bird, Iron Head, Tailwind, and Protect. So, just like that one, Scott, we can actually set up Tailwind with them. We can go with either or and actually and absolutely set up and do some work. But, guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to use it. It's a very good team. I'm absolutely loving it. But, guys, let me know for question of the day. What's your favorite type of Pokemon? For me, I absolutely love grass types. Like, grass types have always been my favorite from day one. Ever since I started playing Pokemon, the starters, I always love the grass starters. And just, like, the typing in general, I always like. Without further ado, let's get on with this video. Let's get it, guys. Hopping into battle number one. This guy's rocking out with a Dragapult, Duraludon, Chandelure, Gastrodon, Rotom Wash, and a Titar. Ooh. I'm liking the way his team looks, but who is he going to lead? I can see him leading that Chandelure and maybe that Duraludon and maybe that Duraludon. Who are we going to rock out with? I say we go with our Whimsicott in that front spot. We can set up a Tailwind. We have Moonblast to actually counteract that Dragapult and that T-Tar can do some work with. And then who else are we going to rock out with? Do we rock out with Choice Specs? We rock out with Choice Specs off the bat? I don't really... Does he have anything fighting? Does he have anything fighting that would do some work on my Obstagoon? Mm -hmm. He has Fire. He does have fire, so he might. He's probably gonna lead that Chandelure. I think he's gonna lead that Chandelure, and then we might go in with our Dragapult. We could rock out with our Dragapult. Yeah, let's go Whimsicott Dragapult in the front too. Then we go Obstagoon and Cinderance in the back. I think that's the play call. I think that is the play call. Let's roll out here and get to work. Actually, no, Obstagoon, you are not in the second spot. Get out of here. We want Dragapult in the front. Then we can rock out with Cinderance and Obstagoon, our heavy hitters, in the back end. So everything is looking good. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. We have two fighting moves to actually take out that Dural down with our Obstagoon and our Cinderance. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. We stream four plus days every single week. It is tons of fun. Hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys there. But let's rock, guys. Gonna go with the Gastrodon and the Dragapult, which is fine by me. We can set up a Tailwind. We can set up a Tailwind. Maybe this thing might be rocking Flamethrower, but we are Focus Ash. We are Focus Ashed up. Let's see. What are we gonna roll out into? Ooh, Moonblast looking good, but let's get this Tailwind set up. So once we get this Tailwind set up, we are gonna be sitting pretty. We could go for a Dragon Darts off the bat. Let's go straight for a Dragon Darts. Let's go for a Dragon Darts. Choice Band, our Dragon Darts here. We'll do some work. Tailwind's going to pop off here. So our Dragapult is going to go first. We could potentially just knock out this uh, Dragapult right here. Let's see. Let's see how this goes through. So you Let's go. Boop. See you later, Dragapult. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh. He's eating his berry, but we still... I think we're still going to take him out here. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah. See you later, buddy. Oh, wait. oh, it hits both. It hits both. I'm thinking singles. I'm thinking singles here. <laughs> I'm totally thinking single battles here. 
Uh, do we make sure? I say we make sure the what's called goes out here. Ice Beam's gonna pop out here on my Dragapult. We will eat this up. Oh no, on her, on my Wim Scott. We will eat this up. I say we do make sure the what's it called actually dies. So we're gonna put a Moon Blast right on the Dragapult here and then go into Dragon Darts once again. I, I, I just have to make sure this Dragapult is dead. Considering it is D Dance plus one, I still think we outspeed because we have the Tailwind following our back end. So I think we're fine. I seriously do think we're chilling. The Tailwind helps out tremendously. So let's go, dude. Let's rock out this first battle. Let's rock out this first battle here. Okay, what do I think he's going to do? Put, probably go for another Ice Beam here. Dragon Dart's going to pop out here. Do some work. Hopefully, he just takes out the Dragapult. That would be beautiful. Take him out. Let's go, dude. We can say bye to the Dragapult and bye to the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon, there's no way it's eating up a Dragon Darts. And then Moon Blast? I do not see that happening. I do not see that happening. Let's go, dude. Let's rock out here right off the bat. There we go. See ya. Ooh, Lucky Duck. Lucky Duck gets another Ice Beam off. That's fine. Our Dragon Pole will eat that up, dude. And our speed is through the roof right now. We are absolutely through the roof right now. Chilling. I'm going to save my Dynamax for my Cinderance in the back end. Or my Obscoon. One or the other, which is fine. But we have this Tailwind rocking. We have this Tailwind rocking. The T-Tar is going to come out. The T-Tar is going to come out. And I'm not afraid to send that Moon Blast out on you, T-Tar. We are, we are choice banded into our, what's it called? Our Dragon Arts, which I'm fine with. So we're just going to go for a Moon Blast on a T-Tar. And then a Dragon Arts on both Pokemon. That will take out the Gastrodon and do some work to the T-Tar. Potentially two tap them. We will outspeed. These Pokemon aren't that fast. So you're giving me no reason not to. I think he's going to Dynamax that, what's it called? That T-Tar, who is probably weakness policy. Which I see is probably weakness policy. That's why I'm saving my Dynamax. For my Cinerans in the back end, we can just go into a fighting move and absolutely do some work. So, we're chilling fine. We are chilling just fine right here, which I'm liking, which I'm liking. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. What are you going to do, fool? We go first. We have first turn. We are pretty fast. Dragon Arts is decent to the T-Tar. All I wanted to do was get a little damage on T-Tar and just make sure that Gastrodon goes out. Because we're choice banded to that. And then the, we will outspeed here. Moon Blast is going to pop out here. Do some work. Do a decent amount of damage. Is this thing weakness policy? Is it? We're going to drop its special attack, which is beautiful. He is weakness policy, like I said. Like I said, he is weakness policy. So I'm not too worried. I'm really not too worried right now. Let's see. Max Darkness is going to come out here, take out my Dragapult, which is fine. Which is fine. Was that my Dragapult or was that my Whims? I think it was my Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult is going to go out and our special defense is going to fall. But we will outspeed. I said we just go right into a Dynamax and we can say bye-bye to that T-Tar. I think we're chilling. I seriously think we're fine. And it's life forward. My, my Cinderance will probably one-tap this thing. And we will get the outspeed. We'll, we'll set the Moon Blast off on the T-Tar just in case. Just in case that happens. Ooh, the Rowdown pops out here. Ooh, the Rowdown. But we have to get that thing out the way. We have to get the... Uh, the what's it called out the way. We could go for Sunny Day. But no, we could just set the Drought if we really have to. But does our Cinderance outspeed that... What's it called? That T-Tar. That's the real question. I hope... Or not the T-Tar. The Whimsicott. I hope he does. He might not. We'll see. But I know we will outspeed both these Pokemon. They're very, very slow. But I'm hoping my Cinderace can actually take out this T-Tar in one hit. Then our Moon Blast can slide over and do some work on that Theralda and start chipping away. I can see it taking it out, considering we are Life Orb and it's super effective. Cinderace is an absolute beast. This attack is strong. She is also a fast Pokemon. He, she, whichever. This is a he. Let's see. Do we outspeed? We do outspeed. Come on. Take him out here. Let's go. Do some work. Do some work here, Sin. Yep, see you later, dude. Life Orb Cinderance. Let's go, dude. Cinderance is so good. I think she's one of the better starters. I think she might be the best out of all of them. I'm not too sure. I know there's like a lot of people like do some studies around. Oh, so this one has faster. I know Inteleon is the fastest, but Cinderance is only one speed behind it. And her attack is right there. So Cinderance, it, I think it's between Cinderance or Inteleon for the top two. But Moon Blast going to pop off here. Do a little bit of work on this Duraludon. Nice, nice, nice. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. And he's out of a Dynamax. Flash Cannon's going to come out here on my Whimsy. Take out my Whimsicott. That's fine. We're rocking out with both our heavy hitters. I think it's a, is it a 2v2 situation here. And we have the Dynamax. Because we will take out that Duraldon in one hit. Tailwind Peter's out. But here comes Opsta. Here comes Opstagoon coming out here. Showing him off. Let's go, Opstagoon. Let's go, buddy. He looks so sick. Like, who who would have thought Zigzagoon and Lionoon could look cool? And they did it. They did it. Oh, it's a... Bruh, that's night night. This is game over. This is game over. I thought he had an extra Pokemon, but that is game over. Let's go. That is how you start off your first battle. By dominating, controlling, and doing work. And he cancels the battle. He's not even going to let Opscoon get his first hit off. He's not even going to let us do it.
coming off that strong first match and hopping into battle number two this guy is rocking a charizard nine tails team right here with actually rain this team can uh settle as a rain team or a drought team right here because the nine tails can set the drought the charizard can thrive under that drought same thing with that nine tails and then he has the rain he can set up so this is gonna be tough this is gonna be tough he's also rocking the mount mama swine the Raladon, the pelipper for the rain and the lady cola with the swift swing probably who are we gonna roll out here i say we roll out in, with that indeedy i think the indeedy can do work do we go with the corviknight I think Corbidite sits. I think we got Whimsicott and Didi. And then we need to go with some heavy hitters here. We're going to need a fighting type. Let's go Whimsicott and Didi. And then Obstagoon Cinderance. I think that's the play. I think that is the play. We can do some work here. Where do we go with that Draga? The Draga can always do work. Hmm, I know. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the time. Keep an eye on the time. But I think that is what we're going to do. We can go here. We can go Obstagoon into the Dragapult. I think that's looking even better. Because I don't think we really need a Cinderance. Yeah, I don't think Cinderance is really going to thrive if he brings that Rain Team out. So I think we're just going to roll out here. I think we're just going to swap out that Indeedee for that Cinderance and bring the Obscoon. Get Obscoon a little bit of love and show him off in this video. Because Obscoon is a beast. Absolute beast. Same thing with that Cinderance. Same thing with that Cinderance. But let's roll. Let's roll out here. Do, 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 do. Let's go, let's go. Jeans, Jeans is the man. He's gonna rock out with the rain team. This guy's rocking out with the rain team. We're gonna roll out with our Whimsicott here. Whimsicott's gonna pop out here. He's gonna set the rain. Should we just change it to a sunny day? Or do we go with the tailwind? Or do we go with the tailwind? This thing is the Pelper could potentially be running a tailwind to counteract our tailwind. So we could just go into a sunny day. Or no, she's going to go for a hurricane off of us. So we're going to rock into a tailwind. And we are choice specs. We are choice specs. We might just go into the psychic. Start doing some work on this Ludicolo. I don't think... I think he expects to follow me to come out here. And he could Dynamax that Ludicolo off the bat. Let's see how he plays this out. I love Ludicolo's hands. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> and the pelper has got those big, like, thin wings right there. Keeping his giant bill up. <laughs> Tailwind's gonna pop out from us. Ooh, my wind's got outspeed? Bruh. Wow, do we outspeed and yo, your rain poo poo. Bang, see you later. Choice specs and Didi. They were not expecting that. They were not expecting that. That did absolute work. His tailwind's gonna pop out here. And we will still be faster. We will still be faster, dude. This team is beast. Whimsicott. Jeez, and that choice specs and Didi. No one was expecting that. They were expecting a little follow me coming at him. So he's just like, I'm going to rock out into a Tailwind. And probably go for a little bit of a uh, Scald on the Indeedee. But nah, we choice specking. We choice specking. Um, do we roll out into the Sunny Day here? Um, do we roll? I don't think the water is really going to affect us too much. So I said we just go straight into a... No, not Dynamax. A Moon Blast. We, yeah, we go after that the round on. I can see him potentially uh, Dynamaxing. Or do we go for that peeper? We could take out the peeper. Because <laughs> we have the obscune in the back. If we do some work against him. Um, we don't need. There's no need for us to go for a sunny day. Because hmm. I'm guessing the Pelper is focus ash. I'm going to say the Pelper is focus ash. He is going to Dynamax his Duraludon. Which I am not scared of at all. I can just Dynamax my obscune. Go into a Max Knuckle. Say bye bye Duraludon. It's that simple. So I'm not worried about him Dynamaxing that Duraludon. We're fine. We have Obscune in the back line. And we also have Dragapult, who is going to outspeed this team. He's just going to outspeed him regardless. His Swift Swim Pokemon is gone. I can see him. Who else do I see him running in the back end? Moonblast coming out here. Do a little bit of damage. Not bad. Not bad. And now we're going to roll into a Psychic here on the Pelipper. I see this thing being Focus Ash. We have choice specs. Do some work. The Focus Ash just pop out. That's why I was going to go for a double hit on it, but it's fine. It's really fine. I want to get some damage off. My Whimsicott should be able to eat that up. Uh, it is Focus Sash, which is beautiful. So eat that up. Nice little Focus Sash. You want to Focus Sash? I'll Focus Sash. And our Whimsicott will get another turn in order to take out that. He's going to go after my Indeedy on this one. Can we eat that? Oh, yes, dude. Yes. Let's go. We're going to get another shot off here. We're going to get another shot off here, which is beautiful with both these Pokemon. With both, both these Pokemon. We're going to go for a... Did we go for a Moon Blast here? How? What are we rocking out here? Let's check the info. Let's see how many turns we have left in the, what's it called? The Tailwind. Okay, so we have two with the Tailwind. There's three with the Psychic Terrain and three with the Rain. The Rain, I'm not too worried about. But do we just go for a Moon Blast here on the 
Let's see if we just take out the Pelipper. I think our Psychic can do damage on that Duraldon. Even though it's not very effective, we are choice specs, and I think it will do more than that Moon Blast. Let's see how this works out. Pelper's going to protect. Survive another turn. That, again, that's fine by me. You're just stalling yourself out here, and one of our Pokemon's going to survive. One of our Pokemon's going to survive. I wonder who he's going to take out here. Well, let's see how much damage this Psychic does. Yeah, see, more than that Moon Blast would have done, so I'm fine with that. He's going to eat his berry. Nom, 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 nom. They should just change the berry sounds to Minecraft eating sounds. This game would be 10 times better. It would have got game of the year. <laughs> like, if they would have changed it to that, that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. Just the Minecraft eating sound is the best, man. The best. And everyone loves Minecraft. You mix Minecraft with Pokemon. What do you get? You get game of the year. Who are we going to rock out into? Obstagoon or Dragapult? I said we save Dragapult for the back end. We go right into the Obstagoon to take out that, uh, that's a rattle down right here. We can't take out that rattle down right here. Considering we have one more turn of Tailwind, so we can guarantee the outspeed here. So we'll just go into a Moon Blast over on this Pelper. And we can rock out into a Max Knuckle over here. A 95 Max Knuckle and raise our attack, uh, our attack stats. This actually might not take him out. My Cinderance would definitely take it out. But my Cinderance is Life Orb. And this thing is not. But I still see it doing some work on it and surviving a hit. I still see it surviving a hit. There's no way these guys are rocking a, uh, what's it called? A, a fighting move. None of these Pokemon definitely don't have a fighting move. Because the Roudon is super effective at fighting. And Pelipper's probably rocking. I can probably guess its moveset. I can probably guess its moveset. Scald, Protect, Hurricane, and maybe Tailwind. <laughs> so let's see. Do we. Our, our Wimscott should go first. And Wimscott is so fast. She will be able to take out the Pelipper. See you later, Big Bill. See you later, Big Bill. We don't need you here. Get out of my face. <laughs> we rocking out with this team, guys. We rocking out. Max Knuckles going to pop out here. Let's see. Let's see. Take him out. Oh, not even close, man. Not even close. I thought that would have done more damage, but we're chilling. He's going to take out my Wimscott here, I think. I don't think he's going to go after my Obstagoon. My Obstagoon. And we're going to try to set up another Tailwind. Max Wormwind going to pop out here on my Obstagoon. Eat that up, buddy. We eat that up. We eat that up all day. And I think that's his last turn here with that Dynamax. I think that is his last turn. So this Max Knuckles should be able to do some work. Defiant's going to come out. Ooh, you lower our stats. We raise our attack stats. Get out of my face. Tailwind's going to peter out. But the good part about this is, is our Whimsicott is still alive. We can just set up another Tailwind. She is going to outspeed. Yes. Yeah, oh, my gosh. She's going to outspeed. She's going to outspeed all day, baby. We have a Dragon Ball in the back. Ooh. So Duraldon will go down this Max Knuckle considering its Dynamax is down and her attack is plus one from the Defiant ability. Tailwind's going to pop off again, boosting our speed. I don't have to worry about the rain because no water Pokemon right here. We're going to take out that Duraldon. We're going to make sure that Duraldon is gone right here. I don't really feel like dealing with him. Let's go. Tailwind. Duraldon's going to protect. I can still see us hitting through it and potentially taking him out. Let's see. Let's go. Tailwind, baby. Setting up again. Letting us set up. Keeping our Whimsicott in too long. You don't want to do that. You want to get that Whimsicott out of there. It's kind of like a hat train. Like, you don't want him to set up two trick rooms on you. You know what I'm saying? Take him out. Mm, so close. But he does eat that up, which is a smart play by him to go into the protect. But what's it called? I think he's going to go after my uh, Obstagoon again, which is fine. Our attack is boosting, man. I think we're plus three now. Rock Slide's going to come out here. Oh, nice smart play to go with the Rock Slide to be able to take out my Wimscott and do a little bit of damage to my Obstagoon. But we're going to outspeed and win this match. This match is like over, guys. We're rocking out, baby. Yo, but look at Mammoth Swine. Yeah, you see his face. It's Manny the Mammoth from Ice Age over there. <laughs> his eyes look like he's so mad, but it's hilarious. He's mad because he's going to lose. Because he's going to lose and Steel Wing is super effective to him. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Let's get it, guys. Rock it out here. Choice Bandit. We're just going to Choice Bandit our Steel Wing onto him. Or what do we do? We could go for a Dragon now. Dragon Darts. Get out of my face. Actually, we could just go for a Dragon Darts. I said we do go for a Dragon Darts. So we don't have to worry about that Duraludon. Go for a Dragon Darts. We go built. We can take out the Duraludon with the Dragon Darts. And then just roll into a Max Knuckle on the Mammoth Swine with the Obstagoon. Let's go. Dragon Darts going to come out first. Bye-bye, Duraludon. Bye-bye. Built. See ya. And then do a little bit of damage. We don't even need the crit. The crit was for no point. It was just to rub the loss in this guy's face. <laughs> and the dragon darts do a little bit of damage. Then we can put our hands up. Dun, 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 dun. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Victory, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Let's go, dude. That is how you do it, dude. This team is rocking out. It is tons of fun, and it does some works.
This team's just too good. This team is just too good. I'm loving it so much with the Apsuku and the Cinnamons. But we're hopping into our third match here. This guy's rocking a Snorlax, Lapras, Grimpsnarl, Rhyperior. How do you pronounce this? Reneculus? Reneculus, I think it is. And a Gyarados. But, yo, his team looks sick. I definitely want a rental code for that. I definitely want to use this team. I might just build that team. Because... I always want to use that Ranunculus team and a Lapras team, and they have both of them in it, and it just looks like such a cool team. But with all that said, who are we going to bring in here? Who are we going to bring here in here? I don't really want to bring... Do we bring in that Cinderance? Do we bring in that Cinderance? I think Obscune's going to fly out here. I think Obscune will do just fine with the close combat on that Rhyperior. We are going to need a special attacker, possibly. Our shipping kill... Do we go with that Whimsicott? Whimsicott and Didi? Wimscott and DD Opsagoon Dragapult again? I say we do do it. I say we go with that. I say we rock the front two. I say we go Dragapult and Cinderance. Let's go Cinderance. I want to bring that Opsagoon, but I just feel like the Cinderance with that Life Orb, and I don't think he's going to bring both Water Pokemon. I don't think he's going to bring that Lapras and the what's it called? The Lapras and the Gyarados. I don't think he's going to double up on it. I do not think he's going to double up on it, so I'm going to bring that Cinderance out and do some work. We're just going to make a small little read. And if that read actually works out, we will be chilling. I can see him lean the Lapras, though. I see him lean that Lapras. The Gyarados he leads, and the Grimstar. Oh, that was actually, that's actually pretty predictable. That's pretty predictable. We can go into a Tailwind right off the bat. We can definitely go into a Tailwind right off the bat. The Psychic Surge does come out here. We can rock out with a Psychic. We can rock out with a Psychic! Let's get this Tailwind rocking out here. I can see him going for maybe a Reflect or something. But we could go for a Moonblast. But I'd rather set up the Tailwind. Because we are Focus Ash. We will get uh, next turn. We will be chilling. No effect. We're going to go over on this Gyarados and rock out here. We're going to rock out on this Gyarados. And then we can uh, put a Moonblast on the what's it called? The Grimstarl. I can see him setting up maybe a Reflect or a Light Screen. That's what I see his Grimstarl doing. And then I see his uh, Gyarados either Dynamaxing or just going for like a D-Dance. But I don't, I don't care if he goes for a D-Nance. I actually would love for him to go for a D-Nance. Because we're just going to set up a Tailwind, outspeed him. We can take him out in two Psychics. Two Psychics will just take him out. He's going to withdraw his Snarl of the Grim. And we're not even attacking him. We're not even attacking him. So thank you for helping us set up. Thank you a lot, buddy. I'll take that all day. And like I said, he's going to Dynamax his Gyarados. And probably go for a Max Geyser. Try to set up the main hit on my Indeedy. Which, again, is fine by me. <laughs> That's totally fine by me. We're chilling. We're chilling. We have that Dragon Bolt in the back end who could do some work. He'll just do some work. Dragon Darts is always a good move, especially in doubles to get those double hits on people. Let's see how this actually turns out. Tailwind comes out here. We will get first move next turn, so we might just try to tank out on that Gyarados. Let's see how we do here. Psychic. Built. <laughs> Ew wee. Max Airship's going to pop out here. We are focused. We are focused, Sash. Which is beautiful. And we're just going to tank up on that Gyarados. We're going to say bye to that Gyarados, actually, right here. We'll say bye to the Gyarados. Get his Dynamax out the way. Ooh, what just raised from his speed? Oh, with the what's it called? I, I thought he had an ability. Because he used Max Airstream. They're, both their speeds going to raise. I still see us outspeeding. That's the thing. I still see us outspeeding. We're going to go straight for this Dynamax Gyarados. Try to push him out the way. And then this uh, Ranunculus is probably going to take out our Ndidi. Or our Wimsky. He's going to go for one or the other. Moonblast. Yay. Do some damage. And then come on, Ndidi. Outspeed here. Outspeed in DD. Let's go, dude. Bye bye, Gyarados. Yes, dude. Yes. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. This team is so good. That choice specs in DD. Nobody's expecting it. Nobody is expecting it. So we're just rolling out with the Indoor's work. And bruh. You really just went for that. You just went for that. That move has no effect. We might just run this with our Whimscott in DD. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, baby. Sawesome with this team. Absolutely sawesome. I'm loving it. Rhyperior just pop out here, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. Uh, hmm. Moonblast. Going out. I'm going to try to take out this thing. I don't really want to do too much work. And we are psychic locked because we are choice specs, which is fine. We'll do some work. I think this might actually one tap the Rhyperior. I think we're going to one tap the Rhyperior here because his special defense is buns. It's buns right here. Watch. Watch how much damage we do. I can see us one tapping him. Yep. Yes, sir! And we get the crit. I like I seriously thought we were one tapping without it. His special defense is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. He's rolling the trick room. Can we roll a trick room to counteract the trick room? That would be beautiful. <laughs> you should be able to like it's kind of like a negative and a negative. Two trick rooms. They cancel out. They would cancel out into a positive. <laughs> so we're gonna roll onto this Grim Snarl. So he is gonna get first move priorities here. Um I mean we just roll out into a moon blast. Try to get off on the Grim Snarl, but he's gonna take us out. 
Psychic is gonna have no effect on him, but we're gonna try to do a little bit of work on the what's called. I mean, we have to go into here. We are locked right now, but it's 2v2 and we have our Dynamax. We have our Obscoon in the back. Let's go. Let's get it. It's just that easy. It is just that easy. Here's one last look at this team. And guys, this has been one of my favorite double teams I've used in a while. Like, it just has it all. And it's so much fun to use. It has that Whimsicott, which is a B. Same thing with that Indeedee and the Choice Specs. The Choice Specs just races it to another level. Same thing with that Obscure and Cinderinster attack. is just through the roof and they can do work. Dragonbolt is always a beast. And now with that Choice Band, you can just Choice Band move and start running things. Corviknight is awesome too. But we didn't get to show him off in today's video. video but we do show him off all the time. So it's really not a big deal. He's, he's just another Tailwinder in case, like, the Rock and fire pokemon in the front spot well no fire he doesn't really do good to good on maybe if they're rocking like fighting pokemon you can go in there with the core Knight, send out a brave bird and get the tailwind set up but guys if you like to use this rental code for yourself it's right at the bottom of the screen go ahead use it up and also let me know for question of, of the day what is your favorite typing of pokemon as mine is grass like i said in the beginning of the video but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to show it by smashing that like button clicking that big red subscribe button and let me know in the comment section down below Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.